Your Excellency President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to join the launch of Egypt's 2021 Human Development Report, or as we call it, HDR. Egypt is notable for being amongst the earliest adopters of the human development concept. It is a concept that is centered on expanding the richness of human life rather than simply the richness of the economy in which human beings live. And it is an approach focused on people and developing their opportunities and choices. The United Nations Development Program is proud to have collaborated with Egypt since 1994 to issue these human development reports. Today's report covers a period of important change in Egypt, marked by major socioeconomic transitions and challenges. It shows how the country has made huge strides in key areas such as health, education and housing. For instance, to life expectancy, which has increased from 70.3 years in 2010 to 72 years in 2019. And a child today benefits from nearly four years more of schooling compared to three decades ago. This new human development report also details the challenges and opportunities at an inflection point for our global community. Across the world, poverty has spiked and inequalities have widened due to COVID-19. Global human development is going backwards for the first time since 1990. Like the rest of the world, Egypt is grappling with these harsh realities. Yet notably, it has managed to maintain positive economic growth mostly due to the implementation of bold economic reforms. Egypt is also responding proactively to our climate and nature crisis. In 2019, it established a National Council for Climate Change to drive forward decisive climate action. UNDP is proud to support these crucial efforts, including through the new strategy on climate change. Your Excellency, dear colleagues, as we look to the future, UNDP's brand new strategic plan highlights three key enablers that can speed up human development in countries such as Egypt. We will support new efforts to foster grassroots and strategic innovation, the source of many of the solutions that we now need. Look to the work of UNDP Accelerator Lab in Egypt, which is driving forward a range of homegrown solutions. Secondly, we will aim to help to sustain the wave of digitalization created by COVID-19. That includes building on the momentum around digital finance with its ability to rapidly expand social protection. This will boost resilience in the face of the next crisis. And thirdly, UNDP has made a new commitment to drive $1 trillion of public expenditure and private capital investment towards the sustainable development goals over the coming four years. This will help to step up efforts to protect and restore our planet's precious ecosystems and biodiversity to take just one example. Look also to Egypt's upcoming development finance assessment, which is supported by the United Nations. This will lay the foundations for the country's new integrated national financing framework. It will help to increase investments in the SDGs and the goals of the Egypt Vision 2030 strategy. That includes key areas like education, health, and social protection. Your Excellency President El Sisi, Ladies and gentlemen, for 68 years, the United Nations has worked closely with Egypt to drive forward development and sustainable development. Our partnership is based on the principles of co-creation and co-investment today. It is an equal partnership rooted in shared interests as we work towards the 2030 Agenda and the Egypt Vision 2030. The entire United Nations system will continue to be on hand to advance human development in Egypt while erasing planetary pressures. This is the next frontier for the human development concept. In doing so, we can build forward better from this devastating pandemic and do so towards a much greener and more inclusive and ultimately more sustainable future. Thank you so much.